So, we roll on to the Carabao Cup on Tuesday night at the Emirates, and we have West Ham United. The same West Ham United that we drew 0-0 with last week in the league. Now, in terms of league, we played Newcastle United yesterday. Go and check out my review of that game. That is on my channel. It's the last video I posted. Um, go and check that out. Give that a like. If you're new to the channel, you can subscribe as well and hit the bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. Now, on to West Ham. Since David Moyes took over, they have been in a rich vein of form. They are doing all right at the minute. They absolutely poleaxed Stoke City yesterday. They drew with us last week. They beat Chelsea last week. And they narrowly lost to Man City the week before that. Now, that's not bad for a team of not amazing players, but average players. With Arnautovic and that's about it really. <laughs> yes, I know they've got Andy Carroll, but Andy Carroll never seems to be fit enough to play long enough to get a run of form going. But Arnautovic is probably their best player. Um, now, this game's not going to be easy for us because Arsene Wenger will no doubt mix up the teams again. And this winds me up a little bit because, yes, the kids have done well, the reserves, whatever you want to call them. They've done really well to get us to this point. point. Um, they've also done really well to get us out of the Europa League group and into the knockout stages of that. But the further you get down a competition, the closer you are to winning it. And I want to win this competition. When I was younger, it weren't as big as the FA Cup, but it was still a good competition to win. And I remember us back in 1993 beating Sheffield Wednesday in the final of this competition and then beating them in the final of the um, FA Cup as well. So, so yeah, I really want to win it. I think that the introduction of money into football via Sky Sports, BT, Champions League, etc. has absolutely killed this competition off to the point where people call it the Mickey Mouse Cup now. And I don't think it should be like that. A trophy is a trophy. There's certain fans in our fan base and probably other fan bases as well that are quite happy not to win this competition and finish fourth in the league. Now, I find that baffling. Why would you want to finish third loser and no trophy at the end of the season I want to win the trophy so if we finish fifth and get this trophy so be it I'm happy we've got a trophy but yeah it is what it is what I see from this game is a tough game I see that um, West Ham will I don't know there's, there's two schools of thought I'm going down with this West Ham could quite easily just write this competition off and just say no we've got to concentrate on the league um, that's more important to us and they're well within their rights to do that. The other school of thought I've got is that maybe they'll take this a bit seriously, get a little cup run going, keep their form, uh, their form going. Obviously, like I say, they just beat Stoke yesterday. They absolutely poleaxed them. So they're in good form at the minute, and this ain't going to be easy for us. With that being said, this is my 1-11 to for the game. Um, I am going with David Ospina in goal. I personally, I would pick him for Premier League games as well right now. Um, I think Petr Cech needs to be phased out. And that's no dig at him. He's, he's a good goalkeeper. But I think we need to slowly phase a few players out. Not just him, but he is one of them. So I'm going with David Ospina in goal. I'm going with four at the back. I'm actually going 4-4-2. Um, I am going with Debucci at right back. Another player who I've mugged off left, right and centre. I've said that he's nicking a living. I said he shouldn't be at the club. He's absolutely dog shit, etc, etc. But I'm eating my words slightly this season because the games he's played this season, he has been very, very impressive. And Bellerin, on the other hand, hasn't. So I think Bellerin should be dropped for a few Premier League games and Debucci maybe should come in. But for this particular game, Debucci, for me, is going at right back. Left back. This is where I was thinking, hmm, well, what do I do here? There's, there's a few options. Um, I'm going to go with Maitland-Niles. Now, I'm all for playing players in their right positions, and he ain't a left back. But he was fantastic yesterday against Newcastle, and has been in every game I've seen him this season. So... 
He's probably not going to play against Liverpool because Kalasanaka come back in. So I'm putting him in at left back for this game. I love his dedication. I love his enthusiasm. He's got pace. He's got power. He was running past people yesterday and pinging shots. And he's good enough, to, in my opinion, to get in our starting 11s for Premier League. Because let's be real, we're nearly 20 points behind Man City. So what does it fucking matter who starts right now? Now, moving on to centre-backs. I am going with two players who I mentioned in previous videos that should be being put in the starting 11 for our teams. Maybe not every week, but they should definitely be the future of this football club. And that is Callum Chambers and Rob Holding. Now, I find it baffling that neither of these two are getting a run of games, especially when we're playing Monreal at centre-back. Now, as good as Monreal has been at centre-back, he's not a centre-back. These two are. So, I think we should start phasing Koscielny out, um, Mertesacker Saka as well. Koscielny's 33 years old, constantly got an Achilles problem, and he's not been all that this season. So, I'd put one of them in for him, definitely. But moving on to midfield, um, I am going with Jack Wilshere. I think that Jack's been impressive every game that I've seen him, along with Maitland-Niles. They've been brilliant this season. Um, but I don't think Jack will play against Liverpool. I don't think Wenger's going to pick him for that game. So I'm going to put him in for this one. Um, next to him, I am going to go with Mohamed Elneny. I think Elneny... For me, is so underrated. I know a lot of people don't rate him at our football club, but I think he's an underrated player. He just gets the ball and passes to someone better. And he just keeps the ball ticking. He gets back, he does his defensive side of the game perfectly. And he is what he is. He is just a destroyer that will pass to someone better. And that is what we need. Now, on to the right wing. I am going to go with Reese Nelson. Another kid who's been playing in the Europa League games and this competition this season. And he has been playing at right wing back. I don't want to see him at right wing back. So I'm going to put him on the right wing for this one. On to the left wing. Um, I had two options here. But I have eventually gone with Theo Walcott. Um, don't know what's happened to him recently because he ain't even making the squads for the Premier League games. But... For this one, he is going to make my team, and he's going to be on the left wing. Now, the two strikers up front, I am going to go with Danny Welbeck. I think Danny Welbeck needs a full game. He ain't getting that in the Premier League at the minute, so this is an ideal opportunity for Danny Welbeck to go and score a couple of goals. Did I just say that? A couple of goals. Maybe I've got the wrong player because he don't fucking score. But he may well score against West Ham on Tuesday. So I'm going to put him up front. And next to him, I am going to put Eddie and Ketia, another one who should be starting this game. Um, I think he's brilliant. I, I've watched a lot of the, um, the youth team football, and it, he's just unreal. He just lights it up. He scores goal after goal after goal. So I think he deserves a start, and I'd love to see us play a 4-4-2 for this game. Um, all this three at the back bullshit ain't really cutting it. Then Wenger's dropped that and gone to four at the back, and... I think Wenger's as confused as us, really, to be honest with you. So, I think we should go 4-4-2. That's my team for the game. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And obviously, smash the fuck out the like button. Um, my prediction, score prediction for the game. Um, I am going to go with Arsenal 3, West Ham United 1. And I will go with a Danny Welbeck. Yes, I know. Danny Welbeck will score the first goal. Um, the way I see this is, like I said, it's going to be a tough game. It depends what West Ham want to do. Because if West Ham want to um, come and park the bus effectively, then we could struggle and end up being on the wrong side of a 1-0. But I don't think they'll do that. I think they'll give it a crack. Um, they're in good form, like I've said. So, yeah, I see, um, I see a 3-1 victory. Anyway, don't forget to follow my Twitter, Lee Gunner 82 and don't forget to follow my Instagram, Lee Gunner 82 I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.